Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. There's too many to, there's too many memories to actually say. How about the first time I ever met Haim Saban? It was on the bowling alley during our filming of the proto or the the promo pilot. I think it was our second day of shooting, or it was no, no, it was it was that first day. It was still early in the day. Now, of course, Haim had seen uh, the punks in their rehearsals on videotape, and he was sitting on an apple box, and um, and Cheryl came to visit, and I was just standing nearby quietly, and, and he said, Cheryl, you have to meet this guy. He's an idiot. <laughs> and I was, I, I, I was like. Hi. You know, and that, so of course I got to meet Cheryl Saban for the first time that same day, and and uh, later, years later, we talked about it, and I have recounted the story to her. Um, you know that that's a that is a crystalline memory, because really, I am an idiot. One of the memories that's most filled, I guess, was symbolism and gravitas. First season, we just became big, and so we were filming new episodes over Christmas when we should have been out of work, looking for new work, and there we were back with Power Rangers. And we were all very successful now. We were still broke <laughs> because, <laughs> because we hadn't got that first pay that new paycheck yet. But it was Christmas Eve, right after the show became big. And the toys were selling like hotcakes. So there was a very warm, nostalgic feeling about that. And on Christmas Eve, the last shot we did was a fantasy sequence with Bulk and Skull in the Megazord. <laughs> So Paulie and I spent Christmas Eve with that crew that we love in the Megazord that we never got to take over except for that one, that one night we got to have the Megazord on Christmas Eve.